So I recently read the four Gospels in the New Testament of the Bible. And here are some leadership characteristics that I wrote down that Jesus displayed, in my opinion, and that any leader must have that could have been discovered off of looking at what Jesus' life. Number one, we have to realize that sometimes people within our organization will be uh, a person who will betray us. Okay, number two, make sure before you leave the organization, before your time is up, that you show, that you pass on, that you provide the example so that when you're gone, they can continue to, the organization can continue going. So teach them what to do before you leave. Number three, be a server. Um, I, 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 there was an example of, of, of uh, Jesus washing someone's feet. Even though he was the, the leader, he got down on his hands and knees and washed someone's feet. He was a server. You must, number four, you must be able to show a greater future from what the people are right now, what their condition is, you must be able to make them believe that under your leadership, there's a greater future if they follow the path that you're telling them about. Okay, number five, you have to be the living example of what you're trying to get other people to do. Number six, I believe that Jesus was able to speak in a language that could be understood by children all the way to elderly people. He spoke in a language that was understood. Number seven, you must look like a leader. You must be able to have that presence when you walk in. Um, I believe it was John. He knew who Jesus was right away. Okay, so he obviously had a presence that looked like, that felt like a leader when he walked in the room. You must, you must be providing a vision that is worth following. You must be able to pick out and develop a team. You know, he picked out his disciples to follow him. Sometimes, number 10, you must, I, there was parts where Jesus went up by himself and he prayed. So be able to spend time alone in your own thoughts. Find some time for yourself, some time to regather your thoughts so you can lead the people. You must stick with the mission, stick with the plan, even if the mission may be painful or it might be, it might not be uh, something that you want to do. If you know it's the right mission, stick with it. We have to know that our time as a leader will end someday and that somebody else must step in and take charge. Ask the people around you questions. What do you think? What do they say? Ask them questions. Ask them for their opinions. You must have a certain presence about you that's noticeable, noticeable even before you speak. Once again, I talked about how, how John knew this is, this is the leader that we've been waiting on. Um, power, you must have power to overcome temptation. Or power to, you know, like um, deviate from the course. There'll be things in your, in your way that could get you to deviate from the mission that you know is right. You must over, have power to overcome that. Know your mission. What is your mission? Jesus knew what his mission was. Okay, and he stuck to that mission. Be a teacher. You must be able to teach. You must be able to teach what you want to the people that you're getting, trying to get to follow you. Teach, teach that to them so that they understand it. You must be willing to help all. Okay, from the person who doesn't have any money to the richest person. You must be willing to help all. You must have other people who will speak of your greatness. You provide an example, and they will speak of you greatness to other people. You must have a resume. Okay, you must have a resume. You got to be able to look and say, here, here's my, here's my qualifications. Must be a problem solver. Okay, leaders got to be a problem solver. Jesus turned water into wine. Or when he fed all the, when he fed the, the group of people, um, the, the bread and the wine took a, took, a, took a little bit and made it into a lot. He solved the problem. 
must have a calming effect. Um, when, when the disciples were on the water and they were, they were getting ready to sink and Jesus got them to calm down, he had a calming effect. When the storm is around, a leader knows how to calm the storm. You must be a communicator. You must be able to communicate the mission. So here's some of the things. These are just some leadership qualities that I wrote down that I believe can help any leader based on my reading of the four Gospels, looking at Jesus's life and how he lived his life through those four Gospels. And these are the, some of the leadership characteristics that I think Jesus had. Um, feel free to add some, feel free to disagree, feel free to agree. Tell me what you think. I want to hear your opinion. Thank you.